degraded and leached soils, declining grain and fodder productivity, West Africa is struggling with its agriculture. Every year when I was growing, I didn't earn anything. In the meantime, I got exhausted and gave up. We observed a decline in maize yields year after year. Interestingly, the use of chemical fertilizers requires an increase in the amount used each year to achieve the same yield as the previous year. We are still in the field of the Mueko Curl Cooperative. The owner of the field that is next to ours uses the herbicide. I have a sharecropper who cultivates my field with a hoe. The leaves of my cassava are black, his are red. Even if the cassava produces, for them, it rots. That's them. In 2018, ECOWAS launched the West Africa Agroecology Program, AEP, with the objective of promoting and disseminating agroecology and ecologically intensive agriculture. The aim is to enhance the resilience of populations in the face of food insecurity and climate change. The AEP is implemented by the Regional Agency for Agriculture and Food, RAEF, under the supervision of the ECOWAS Agriculture and Rural Development Directorate, the ARDD. We must stick to the concept of sustainable agriculture because agroecology and agroforestry are practices that are part of the sustainable agriculture approach that ECOWAS is trying to promote. Ultimately, the goal is to ensure that farmers can continue to exploit their land sustainably, passing it on to future generations. This cannot be achieved with the conventional system. The AEP is a program and two projects. The Support Project for Agroecological Transition in West Africa, PATAIA, and the Support Project for the Dissemination and Implementation of Good Sustainable Agricultural Intensification Practices, PAIAD. The PATAI is funded by the French Development Agency with 8 million euros and the PAIAD is funded by the European Union with 8.2 million euros. For me, it was a chance to see an organization like ECOWAS take on a subject that was rather initially carried by civil society, by producer organizations for years even before AFD. There, we were fortunate to have a regional organization that had a regional policy already in place and on which it wanted to inflect a certain inflection in the choices that were initially proposed in this agricultural policy that was initially rather focused on investments in agriculture. The program's relevance is fully demonstrated demonstrated in the five AEP intervention countries, Burkina Faso, Côte d'Ivoire, Mali, Senegal and Togo. At my husband's house, they did not know that I could exploit this land and find food, but now they see that I am eating. This widow from northern Togo is the perfect illustration. When her husband died, she inherited a stony terrain from which she did not get much before the NGO Rafia taught her how to revive her land with compost. The NGO Rafia benefited from a grant of nearly 200 million FCFA from the PAE. Nearly 60 farmers' organizations, development associations, research and training centers have benefited from the same type of financial and technical support. In addition to producing various biofertilizers and biopesticides, project leaders also promote land management and seed production approaches. They contribute to the dissemination of fertilizing plants, such as mukuna, use radio to scale up agroecology initiatives, and promote the creation or revitalization of credit unions. Through these savings and credit groups, members have been able to obtain loans for income-generating activities, enabling them to support their families. Also to the credit of the AEP, the development of 7,000 HA of land for agroecological practices and the production of more than 40,000 tons of compost, etc. 49,000 producers were also trained in agroecology techniques via relay trainers and 450 women equipped with nutrition education. To this, we must add the support of nearly 4,500 young people and women auto entrepreneurs and the formulation of 190 projects and business plans for the benefit of women and young people. Another significant outcome of the EAP is the capitalization of experiences on good agroecology practices. These experiences, 
serve as advocacy tools for the integration of sustainable agriculture into national agricultural policies. We are in the process of developing technical sheets of good practices that can be used by the various farmers in the region. The agroecology program in West Africa owes these multiple performances to its approaches – participation, accountability, partnership, capacity building, etc. The ARAA makes it happen. The ARAA does not directly execute. It uses proven skills at the regional level. Generally, it is through calls for project proposals that we retain the innovative actions that we implement on the ground. In Burkina Faso, where insecurity is prevalent, the community-based approach promoted by ARAA has been successful in implementing and achieving positive outcomes for EAP activities. Despite the deteriorating security situation, we were able to carry out some activities and achieve good results. Although we had to modify our strategy for some activities as we progressed, the community approach involving local actors has enabled us to successfully implement this program. Now that the EAP has proven its effectiveness, it is time to move forward. We can take advantage of the knowledge of the different states to build a better agricultural future than we have today. There is a clear challenge in mobilizing more resources. The agroecological program, as currently designed, is too small to meet the challenges and ambitions we have on this subject. To address this, we need to mobilize more donors. Currently, we only have ERO2 donors, which is clearly insufficient. Therefore, we need to build a coalition of more significant actors. And all this in the context of essential food security, the credo of ECOWAS. Agroecology and agroforestry practices can complement conventional agriculture in a thoughtful manner. Gradual adoption of these practices may lead to a future where 100% of agriculture is agroecological.